Hello, here's part eight of this uh, project. Um, this time we're going to go over how to make some pipes and by doing so we'll go over the basics of um, using uh, zero curves. Um, to start this off, I'm going to go ahead and just go to any NP layer here and go into top view. Move that out a bit. Okay, now making curves is really easy. Um, just start with a curve here. So just a Shift A, go to Curve and select Bezier Curve, and it just flops down a curve for you. And as you can see, there's uh, two control handles, one on each end. Um, the center point here, um, and also each of the points has these uh, two handles where you can manipulate the um, shape of the curve. Now the easiest way to make a uh, pipe out of this is just tab and edit or object mode sorry and go over here to the curve menu and I just leave this uh, selected on 3D. All this does um, is allow you to move it um, along the z-axis there because if uh, you put it in the 2d mode it's stuck to the plane that you um, put the curve on so I just use 3d gives you a little more freedom there um, and now for pipes I'm back in the object mode um, start off with this fill mode let me make a pipe here as you can see the fill mode at half just does half of the object um, the front is just going to do that top part and the back is just going to do that bottom part of the half uh, hit full and you have your full uh, pipe um, all these other settings I just leave as, they're, as they are um, down here at the bevel depth that's where you um, create the actual uh, width of your pipe uh, this resolution, that's how you round it out. I found, <clears throat> I mean, 10 is kind of high, but you can see here um, in the unshaded view how many subdivisions it's going to make along the uh, edge. So you can just judge by that. If I, especially with pipes, I'm a 5 is decent because you're not going to be rendering them that close necessarily. Um, and it's going to cut down on the excess uh, geometry as well. Oops, I'm going back into here. object mode. I'm going to top view. Uh, I'm going to go back into uh, edit mode here. And as you can see, once you uh, create some depth and uh, futz with the uh, resolution there, um, you can manipulate the shape of your pipe easily by. Um, either you know selecting this uh, center point and extruding this out creating some length to it and moving it around to whatever shape you need now there's one other setting I use for curves um, I'm not really well versed in how these function necessarily but um, if you uh, hit V it brings up the handle type selection. Um, I the automatic is the default that it creates when you create a curve and when you extrude those those points out like I did there. Um, I use vector, which actually that was let me undo that and do it and see it a little better in the center there. Um, this vector selection sharpens the angle out. Um, and as opposed to the um, automatic selection or the uh, excuse me the align selection which um, will round out this uh, flow between points um, those are the only two settings I really use um, I haven't really found a need to use any other ones um, now this is a good way to do the pipes if you're not necessarily wanting the uh, linear look of uh, actual like a you know pipes running along a wall or, or something like that uh, this is good for organic shapes by just starting with your curve and just going to town 
you know, shaping it out the how you like. Um, when you do get the shape that you want to convert that into a mesh, uh, you can just go down the object menu and or you can use Alt C and just create a mesh from curve. And if you tab into edit mode, you'll see hit the vertex selection. You can see that you have your your mesh now. And um, I, it's best to you know leave the the curve setting, so you can convert that also back to a curve if you like. Oops. That did not work. And that's because I already set the um, bevel width and everything on it, so. If, it, if I hadn't have uh, applied any of that, you could have switched um, just that single that single line back into a curve if I needed to. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Um, now for pipes. Let me show you. Let me show you that actually. I'm going to see if that works. I have never really messed with that. I'm going to add a curve. Uh, so, whoops. I want to make that curve a mesh and then alt C again and make that back into a curve it does um, add a bunch of uh, handles when you do that as opposed to just the two initial the ones that the curve starts with but you can go back and forth if you haven't already messed with the um, if you haven't already applied this uh, bevel depth on there. Go ahead and delete that. Now I'm going to show you how I was doing pipes. Um, I start with a mesh. Uh, say we can just start, start with a circle. I'm going to just leave the uh, default 32 points on there. And go ahead and delete um, everything but the, this, this quarter here. Then go back into object mode and alt C and I'm gonna make a curve out of that and now over here in the uh, curve tab you set this uh, fill to full and just crank that up to your width that you want and add some resolution to it and you can see we have this little angle here on each end but we can fix that pretty easy um, and now you can tweak all of this is kind of there's too many points here to mess with um, when it comes to messing with uh, actual the actual curve but see what I wanted was just the 90 degree angle uh, as most uh, like conduit would have uh, so we'll go back into object mode and convert this into a mesh with alt C and now to straighten this uh, these edges out if you needed um, just go ahead and border select uh, that and hit scale or S and along the Y axis and then zero and that will give you a flat edge there and up top we'll just uh, scale X and then zero and then you could um, you know extrude out the rest of your pipe here And you, you know, and of course, you can just uh, duplicate. Say you need uh, an S, you want to bring it around the other way. I'm going to rotate this uh, 180 degrees there. Let's see, rotate it 90 this way. Oops. negative 90 and just bring it down and then you can have your little S curve there Oops. and if you want to do align those up you can just select um, that loop there and shift S and cursor to selected and you can actually select oops. 
select these here shift s and cursor to selected and then go back into object mode and you can actually put the origin uh, to the 3d cursor and this might be a long way of doing it but once you have it formed you can use that uh, blank as you know and just duplicate it as you need so you wouldn't have to redo it again um, and then this top side select uh, select these vertices again uh, cursor to selected and then in this case since the origin is already here you can just shift s and then selection to cursor and that will line those up and then if you select both of those and control J to join them and you select all the vertices and you can remove the doubles and then you have a good good solid piece there that you can just reuse and of course you can just change the length of everything if you need um, that's a quick dirty way of doing like a just the the round corner of a pipe now to do like a sharp corner go ahead and just uh, add a I'm gonna add a plane go in edit mode and just delete one of the um, oops bring this down here delete one of the vertices and then uh, in object mode just alt C and we'll turn that into a curve and the same thing let's go over here fulfill crank that up or whatever size you like round it out a bit and you can see it's a not necessarily a circle I haven't figured out why uh, it does that but that's easy enough to fix um, let's go into front view here just scale Z just bring it down till it looks round and there and you got a sharp corner and we'll go ahead and just alt C again convert that into a mesh and then same thing with these edges unless you wanted to you can actually uh, just extrude this out if you needed a, another sharp corner um, if you need to flatten that out just uh, in this case you want to scale it along the x-axis so scale x and then zero and same with this uh, scale x zero Oops. I don't want to do it around the center point so scale x and zero and there you have a good sharp corner um, blank that you can use and that's why I usually I used to have a, a file with just the curves already set up but lost it somehow so um, it's you know a good idea to go ahead and make um, ma make the basic shapes of what you think you'll need a lot of and then um, just keep them on a separate layer and then duplicate them as you need um, but overall that's the quick and dirty way of making uh, uh, pipes with uh, curves and converting them back into a mesh uh, for unwrapping and texturing and whatnot. Uh, thanks for watching.